So we have connected four of the wire here. Number 11. So as we are done with our signals, let's go upload this code to our Arduino and check that is it working or not. Actually, was we thinking what transmitter am I using for this? I'm using FSC6B. Now it must be very large for you. Yeah, FSC6B. So computer program transmitter, flask guy, FSC86P model. Yeah, model, yeah, FSC86P. And turn on that. Now, this is a throttle. This is a yaw. This is a pitch. And this is a roll. This is a row. So, and this is a track. This is channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, as according to that, we are connected our schematic of the Arduino to the receiver. So, I won't recommend you to go with FSCG6B. I'm using for this project because it's really cheap transmitter and anyone can buy it if you're really big beginner then i suggest you to go with this if you have a high budget if you have a tight budget you can go with this if you don't go for something like fs uh, fs fly sky t6 or fs i6 so let's hit the code into the arduino let's check is it working or not So I have uploaded the code. Now let's open our serial monitor. As you can see, it is giving us the value. If I raise the throttle from low to high, it will show you that it's in the highest position, 1700 microsecond pulse. As I move to low, it will drop down to 1000 microsecond pulse as we, as I've shown you into the this graph, rises. Be constant, then lowers down. And over here at the roll, if I do it to the left side, if it goes to the 1600 microsecond pulse, it will show you uh, the pitch axis in the left position. And if I do it uh, at the other side, it will show you it's in the right, right position. I still have problem with this radio, so I'm going to change this radio to much nicer one. Actually, it's showing the roll to the pitch, pitch to the roll. If I do it, the uh, pitch access to the front, so it will show it front, back, so back, front to front. If you don't believe, you can see this. Throttle, lowest to highest. Raise it from here, left to right. So it gives us the value pitch does give us the value. Well, the thing is, the roll is inverted with the pitch, and pitch is gone with the roll. If I do the roll axis to the front, it will show right back to the left, so I just need to fix that back, front, yaw, I got a problem with yaw so, so I hope you have learned a lot of about PWM signals that how does it work, why do we need it, why I'm using for my multi rotor how can you do it with the programming and so that's it that, we'll meet in the next video and with the next video will be on on gyro that will be needed to uh, stabilize our drone so but I almost forgot to say one thing
if you have been confused with the microsecond uh, function it shows you the description down here return the number of microseconds since the Arduino began running to the current program and overflow go back to the zero as I told you that we cannot just wait for the our Arduino multirotor to receive the program uh, the input data from the transmitter so to make it fast we are using the time microsecond pulse now you could use a pulse in function for your Arduino sketch but the main issue is timing because we need to calculate the gyroangular data and calculate the sum of PIDs and then receive the receiver and calculate those rising and falling pulse edges to give you the final output so we for to save the, that time we are using pin change interrupt now Arduino give us tool to do that of course we just call pin change interrupt you can use that code which I did uh, for my own receiver readings if you want to want that code you can pause the video at that moment and copy down the codes so that's it so that was the last thing which I wanted to explain for my codes so I hope you have understood a lot about this program and the programming your own Arduino multi-copter receiver tutorial So I hope you have learned a lot of this from this tutorial and will make you more knowledgeable with this video series. So this was the first part of my Arduino multi-rotor quadcopter series and in the next video I will show you that how can you read the gyroangular data for your PID control and make it more stabilize your drone. So thank you. See you next time. Happy programming.